We're going to show you how to program your RDU 4100 two-way radio. Hey, my name is Dustin McKinney, Marketing and Training Manager at Wireless Solutions. Today we're going to show you the RDU 4100 two-way radio, how to manually reprogram the settings, specifically the frequency, privacy code, channel capacity, and weather channel options. So first, let's tell you a little bit about the RDU 4100 two-way radio. This is part of Motorola Solutions business tier. These include a two-year full replacement warranty. One of the many advantages that we're highlighting in our video today is the ability to manually reprogram this in the field just by pressing a few buttons. This is a very popular selection for construction and industrial users. It's very rugged, very robust, and the ability to be able to change our settings on site is also um, a, a nice added feature. All right, first let's identify our buttons that we'll use while programming your radios. You got your power slash volume knob. You have your channel selector knob up top. Over on the left side, we have our push to talk button. Side button one, an easy way to identify that is it has one dot physically on the button. And then side button two with two dots on the button. These will be used for up and down options when reprogramming certain features into your radio. All right, first let's show you how to enter programming mode on your RDU 4100 two-way radio. We're gonna press and hold two buttons here. We're gonna press the push to talk button and side button one, again, that's the button with one dot on it. We're gonna press and hold both of these, turn the radio on, keep your, those buttons held down until you hear a voice prompt. It'll say programming mode. So again, push to talk, side button one, and then turn it on. I'll do that for you right now. There'll be a two or three second delay. Programming mode, channel one. And then you can release those buttons. If you're not sure if you're in programming mode, you can simply look at your LED. This blinks green. Sometimes when we're turning our radio on, putting it in programming, we may not be listening for that voice prompt. The radio will only ever blink green when you're in programming mode. If you see a color other than this flashing green, you need to turn your radio off press those buttons again to re-enter programming mode settings. Okay, now we're gonna program the frequency first. Be sure you have your channel knob set to whatever channel you want to program. This is channel one. If I were to do channel two, for example. Channel two. The voice prompt will tell you what channel you're on. And then we're gonna go through the settings by tapping the push to talk button. I wanna add a note here. We're not gonna hold this button down for any, any length of period of time. It is a short press or a tap function. If we hold that button, it's going to exit programming mode and we're going to have to re-enter programming mode. So we're going to tap it. It'll give us a frequency number with a voice prompt. Frequency 1. To change, press side button 1 or 2. So we're going to use the side button 1 for up, side button 2 for down, and we're going to go up or down until we reach our desired number. So let's go to 4, for example. 2, 3, 4. Then we'll go to our next setting. All right, next is our code setting. We're going to tap the push to talk button again. It'll read us out a code number. Code four. To change, press side button one or two. Same process. We're going to press side button one to go up or two to go down. If we're going to go up to code eight. Five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll go on to our next setting. Next is our auto scan function. If we tap the push to talk, it'll give us out our current setting. Auto scan disabled. To change, press side button one or two. If you want to enable auto scan, press either up or down. Enabled. And then go on to your next setting. Next is active channels. The RDU 4100 is a 10 channel model, so this ships with 10 channels activated right out of the box. If we want to change that to disable certain channels, for example, this is where this setting would come in handy. So we'll tap our uh, push to talk button. Active channels, one, zero. To change, press side button one or two. And now notice that didn't say 10, it said one, zero. These radios are smart with the voice prompts, but they read out a digit at a time. So that's one, zero, meaning 10. If we go down, nine, it'll say nine. So I'll go up again so you can hear that readout so that it doesn't catch you off guard. One, zero. 
one zero active channels 10. Then we'll go on to our next setting. Next is our weather channel setting. By default, this is set to channel 10 on your RDU 4100 2A radio. You can disable it on channel 10 and move it to another channel. I believe we're still on channel 2. So if I wanted to change that weather channel setting to channel 2, for example, this is how I would do it. So we'll tap our push to talk button. Weather enabled. To change, press side button 1 or 2. So we can press up or down to enable or disable. This one was already enabled. Disabled. Disabled. Enabled. Enabled. If we want to change that weather channel from the default setting, which again is channel 10. Next, we are done. So we, if we tap the push to talk button again, it'll read us out our channel number. Channel 2. If we want to change the settings on a different channel, we would change the turn the volume knob to go to our next channel. Channel 3. And then take the following, the, the previous steps and do them all over again to change your settings appropriately. And then we want to make sure we save our settings. This is crucial if we don't save our settings before exiting programming mode. If I were to just turn the radio off right now, none of this is saved. We need to press and hold the push to talk button that will save the settings. You'll hear it. It'll sound like this. Battery level, medium, channel three. Once you hear that power up audio, the battery level and channel number, that means that your settings have been saved. You're now in standby mode, as we call it. The LED will start flashing red to let you know that you're out of programming mode. And then now you can start using your radio as needed. Now, if you match all of your settings up, your frequencies match, your codes match, but your radios are still not communicating, it is possible that you have either a custom frequency programmed into the radio itself, or it could potentially be a repeater channel on, on your location. That is two settings that you cannot program from the radio by pressing buttons. You would have to use the customer programming software. We would encourage you to contact us at Wireless Solutions. We are more than happy to facilitate that for you and get your radios working properly. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any additional questions on specific program settings or you need assistance, please reach out to us and we are more than happy to help. Thank you for watching.